Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today I am talking about being 25 weeks pregnant and COVID-19 positive. Whew. Well, um, I had a scheduled appointment tomorrow to go see my doctor. Um, I started experiencing these symptoms last Monday from today. Um, it really kicked up in the middle of last week, and it's just starting to kind of go down. Um, hmm. I had an appointment tomorrow, but because um, of my test results yesterday, they've canceled um, in person and said that we can do it over the phone, but I didn't want to do it over the phone, so I just went ahead and rescheduled for a different day. What does it feel like to be pregnant and COVID-19 positive? Um, COVID is not just a physical battle, it's also a mental one, and um, it can be very, very challenging, to say the least, especially when you have two younger kids who don't understand why mommy can't pick you up, why mommy can't, you know, do all the things that mommy normally does, you have to stay strong for for them and for yourself and for your unborn child. Um, I am constantly worrying about my little baby, but he is, if you can get a good angle, he is perfectly fine. Um, he is kicking more now than he's kicked my entire pregnancy. And I think that's just to reassure me that mom, I'm okay. Um, my appetite, sometimes I feel like I can eat. Other times I feel like I can't. Um, initially, when I was feeling a lot of the signs and symptoms of COVID-19, it's so closely related to pregnancy, it's hard to differentiate between the two. Prime example, um, nausea, uh, feeling fatigue, tired all the time, uh, muscle aches, sounds pregnant. I'm getting chills. Now, I knew that was kind of off, but I'm also anemic, so I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's because of the pregnancy. <laughs> um, feeling congested. I don't have sinus issues, but I've noticed I've been getting more like the common cold. When I when I went and got tested previously, they told me it was just probably the common cold because my results came back negative. So, I was just thinking like, now what was my telltale was when I can no longer smell. I said, no, pregnancy don't do this to you, baby. So, um, my boyfriend, he started having other, like, he had a fever that just, it was hard to break. And, of course, he panicked. Um, he does warehouse kind of work. I'm in the medical field. And if you watched my previous video, I am on maternity leave now because um, of my pregnancy. And also... Quite frankly, at first I was kind of apprehensive, but it's a blessing because, you know, um, I mean, I'd much rather be with my kids during this time than have them going to childcare, you know. Um, again, it's just, it's a hard time. Um, I do get still a lot of nausea. This is now we're going into a complete week, Monday to Monday, but today is Wednesday. Um, it, it's hard. Like, I was uh, previously saying, like, initially I thought all of this was just pregnancy related. I didn't put two and two together because when I thought I was experiencing before, they said it was just a common cold. And again, a lot of it felt like my pregnancy, shortness of breath. Well, while I'm pregnant, I thought it's normal to have shortness of breath because I ain't been through one pregnancy where if I did too much, shortness of breath. It's never been so severe. And as far as having a hard time waking up, I'm pregnant. Okay, I have a hard time waking up all the time. So for the pregnant women who've experienced COVID-19, maybe your signs and your symptoms were more dramatic than mine. Um, but as for me, I just, again, I initially chopped it up as a common cold or um, I chopped it up as just being pregnant. Learning that I have COVID-19 I don't want to say it scares me because I know there are some people who have it who are in a way more severe state than I am, mentally and physically. 
and I'm just blessed enough that where I'm not. Um, as far as I know, no baby's been born with COVID-19, but it doesn't change the fact that I am pregnant right now, and I don't want to be the first, you know? Um, my health care my healthcare professional, uh, my on-call nurse, um, she's been amazing. She calls and she checks up on me quite regularly, even prior to, um, she would like, you know, your KP acts, how you're doing or whatever. So I, I appreciate that. But, um, this virus is no joke, you know, quarantine is hard to do with two babies because they don't want to be locked up in a room all day. They don't want to be locked up in the house all day. Um, you can't really go. You're not supposed to really go anywhere. Now, everyone does not adhere to that, so... But you're, you're, you're really not supposed to go anywhere unless it's necessary. Like the grocery store, you know, if it's necessary, then go ahead and go. But, um... I have my moments where I feel cool, I feel okay. And then it's that mental thing that I have to remind myself, you know, I, I don't know what your faith is, but I have to go back to the Word and tell myself by his stripes I am healed me and my family is healed that although this is a weapon that has formed it will not prosper in creating my deathbed anytime soon hello um I still do believe that God is in control and I still do believe that all things work together for the good of those that believe and trust in the Lord so we're in bed we're resting um, little guy is not currently moving right now.